Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to give you guys three tips to use for Blackout Battle Royale that are definitely going to be helping you out a lot in games. And the reason why I kind of compiled them all together is because I did not want to make a bunch of like short two minute, one minute videos. So instead, I'm going to combine these tips in one video. So let's get started. Now guys, for the very first tip I have involves the deadly level 3 armor. So usually in a gunfight, if you don't have this type of armor, the chances of you winning that gunfight are tremendously lowered. And even if you do manage to somehow knock that enemy player, you're still going to be very, very low on health. So one way for you to always get body armor in a game is by heading over to the five zombie mystery box locations. And the locations for these boxes are going to be in the asylum the graveyard which is next to the asylum, the diner, the lighthouse, and the gym in Rivertown. Also one thing to keep in mind though is if you're going to be going for the boxes you are going to have to fight a few zombies but still it's level 3 armor it's the best in the game so it's definitely worth going for. And also if you guys did not know what that shining blue light means from the sky it's a location for the zombie mystery boxes and sometimes what I'll do with my team is at the very start of the game we're going to call out where the mystery box is and then me and my team head over to wherever that location is and we're gonna pick up some armor get some really good guns and yeah just some really good items in general there so vehicles also work really well with transporting the team over there or if you guys are within a close walking distance then that is fine as well for the next tip I have is utilizing the sensor dart plus a vehicle. Now, if you guys do happen to come across a sensor dart, one of the best methods to utilize this powerful piece of equipment is by throwing it on a moving vehicle. So that way, whenever you and your team are traveling around the map, you're going to notice if you happen to drive by an enemy team and then you guys can set up somewhere and catch them off guard. But basically, wherever you go, you're going to have the motion sensor with you, the little pings again, they're going to follow you on the mini map you can also place this sensor dart on a rcxd car and then you can have that travel around an area where you might think other players might be so again having this attached to your vehicle kind of makes it act like a little portable uav in a way finally for the last tip could be something you could use in order to check building safely so basically if you drop on a certain location with a bunch of other players you do not want to rush any room because then one of those players may have already picked up a gun and and if you don't have one, you might as well just leave the game because there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. But what you can do is play the situation safely. And the way you do that is by opening up the door and then immediately after move either to the left or right side. I like to go in the direction where I can get behind a corner so I, I can have an easy escape that way. But I understand some situations may be a little bit different. Either way though, you just want to make sure you peek inside the room instead of just blindly rushing in where where other players may be camping and waiting for you to walk in. So again, you have to play the situation very smart here and uh, find a corner so you can easily escape that tight situation if the guy does happen to have a gun. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed these three little assorted tips. Hopefully I did teach you something new. But one last thing that I think you guys might not have known is when you first launch in a game, you are going to be assigned a certain color. Your teammates are also going to have a different color as well. But now on your PlayStation controller, the light bar will actually glow to that assigned color you have, which is pretty dang sweet and something that's very, very small. But still, it does go a long way and it goes to show you how much detail Treyarch spent with designing this battle royale mode for us Call of Duty fans. Blackout has been playing amazing guys. I absolutely love playing and making these types of videos for you guys and I do hope you guys enjoy them as well because uh, like I said they're pretty fun to produce, they're pretty fun to edit and everything so yeah if you guys do like them I'm gonna keep on making them for you guys and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts and thank you for watching until next time I'll see you guys later.